Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? Okay, it is currently 1.07 a.m. on this very hot and toasty Wednesday evening going into Thursday. Um, it is currently 93 degrees outside. It is so hot, you guys. I was sitting out on the patio and I was like waiting for the fountains of the Bellagio to go off. And then I was like, Oh yeah, they stop at midnight. <laughs> so anyway, and then I started the vlog and it's so dark and I was like, I have the other lamp on in here and I was like, it's really not that dark in here. Like, why is it so dark? So I started like messing with like the knob, but I did it like where you can like turn it on different like settings. I did it like while I was filming. So I got like five minutes into filming and I had like turned the thing and it I, it must have stopped the camera and I didn't even realize it because I was sitting here and I was just like, oh yeah, and then we did this and then we did that and then we were at the pool. And then all of a sudden it just like shut off and like when it, I was like, what just happened? Did my vlog just like stop on me? So it must have been because I changed the settings. I wonder if in the past, do you guys remember like in the past I'll be like, the camera just stopped and I don't know why. Like it just like turned off. I'm wondering if that's because like I changed the setting or like reached up to like move the camera and then by accident like change the setting I wonder if that's what happened if you, if you change the set I'll have to like do a little scientific experiment to see so anyway my husband is half asleep in there and he is watching well I guess it just ended eight minutes ago now because um it was like at the very end but he was watching that show that's um the host is like Portia from Real Housewives of Atlanta and um anyway they talk about like the Real Housewives and stuff like that look I have my new wedding band on we'll talk about that in a second but anyway, um, so he was watching that. I just went in there before I started vlogging because I was going to close the door. And I said, babe, are you still up? Because he was like so half asleep. And he was like, I just want to watch the end of this. I said, honey, just turn it off. He goes, no, I want to watch. He was like half asleep. He was like, no, I want to watch the end of this. I said, okay, I'm going to go vlog. <laughs> so anyway, we came back from dinner. We are both like so full, you guys. We came back from dinner and we watched um, an episode of Sex in the City. I was just telling him like, I've seen several of the episodes through the years. I've seen, I think, both movies. Actually, funny story, I'll tell you in a second. But I've never seen, like, all of the seasons of Sex and the City. And I and enjoy it when I watch it, you know? And I've never seen much of Friends. And when we were in San Diego, we started at, like, the very beginning. And so I just told him now, I said, I'm thinking about maybe, like, going in and starting Friends or Sex and the City, like, from the very beginning and watching it all the way through. I don't know why. <laughs> That's like something that I feel like I want to do. But I kind of feel like maybe I want to do that, you know? So anyway, um, maybe I could put it on my review channel too and talk about like as I'm starting to watch it for the very first time. That would be funny for people that already watch it, right? So anyway, um, like if I watch five episodes a week or something like that, what was I going to say? So yeah, we got back from dinner and we were like so full. We were just like in bed like laughing and like watching the show and I was asking, we were teasing each other and telling jokes and stuff. Um, uh, so anyway, today was like the perfect day. It was like perfect, today's our wedding anniversary and also the anniversary of the day that we met. We've been together today 13 years and we have, we got married 10 years ago tonight in the Cosmopolitan and um, had part of our rehearsal dinner, or part of our reception was at an Italian restaurant, and then we came back here at the chandelier. We like got a section at the chandelier, and we had drinks and stuff there with like all of our friends that still wanted to stay up. A lot of people didn't come back, like my dad and my stepmom and our families and stuff like that didn't come back. Um, because they were like tired and it was late and stuff like that. So today, we didn't really have like a lot of plans. We Alex had made an appointment um, for us to go get new wedding bands, and um, that was at 6.30, but it was like right next door at the Crystal's Mall, and then um, we just wanted to go to the pool, and then we had dinner plans tonight at our reservations were at 9.15, of which I like had such a hard time finding like a place I wanted to go and that I thought would be special for us. And he kind of let me like pick and be in charge of the restaurant. We were talking about like different places we wanted and then he just kind of like let me pick. And I have to tell you, I picked the perfect place. I honestly did. Like I did not know going into this and it was so romantic and it just so filled for memories of us, for, for us. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. But 
So we got up today, Alex was doing some work stuff. I made a video this morning and then I got all that done. So I went down to Starbucks and got a Starbucks. He met me at Starbucks. And then we went to the pool. We got down there, I don't know, 145, something like that. We've been sleeping in late and it's been really nice. Um, and I mean, I usually sleep in late anyway, but he doesn't usually get to. And so it's been really nice that he's been able to sleep in too. So we um, went to the pool, laid out the pool for like two hours, and um, maybe two, two and a half hours. Well, maybe we got down there closer to 1.30. I don't know. But anyway, um, we just laid down there. I got a couple Diet Cokes, and we got into the pool, and hung out in the pool, and talked and stuff. And it, I don't know if this weekend is going to be really busy, but it has not been that busy here. Like, like the casino tonight when we got back here was, like, super busy. I was kind of surprised. But, like, the pool and stuff hasn't been, like, really that crazy busy. I don't know if people are not wanting to go to the pool because it's so hot or what it is. I don't know. But, like, I mean, it's, it's busy, but it's not, like, what I thought it would be. Like, we were, like, on this, like, we're, like, on the third tier of, like, this where, our, like, our lounge chairs were. And there was, like, one other couple that was, like, across from us. And then, like, another couple that was, like, way down. And then, like, there was a couple there when we got there. They left, like, right away. And then, like, a guy way down there. And then there was, like, some other people came right before we were leaving. There was, like, nobody at by us. It was nice. So, um, yeah, that was that. We laid out by the pool. Then we came back here. And, uh... Like I said, I made a video before we left, so that was already, like, up and uh, uploaded and everything like that. I do notice that, like, when I post my drama videos earlier in the day, they don't, like, not as many people watch them as if I post them later in the day, like, between 6 and 8. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's people are working and stuff like that. So, um, we came back here and we changed and, uh... Uh, <laughs> cool, family-friendly romanticals, you know, on our anniversary. And then we, like, went to uh, the mall at Crystal's and did some very bougie shopping. We didn't really buy a lot. But um, we went to – we had both decided that we wanted the, the love rings from Cartier. Um, I know they're, like, kind of basic and everybody has them, but I don't care. I really, really like them. And Alex got white gold and I got yellow gold. Um, we just thought they would look also, like, nice with our other rings. And Alex has his stacked, and they look, like, really good. So, when I lose weight and I can get the other one on there. The other thing with these is that you can get them sized down. And I know you can do this with a lot of rings, but we talked to the woman in there. She was fantastic. Um, you can get them sized down. Um, and, um... So, like, you can't get them sized up because it stretches out, like, the locking mechanism that it looks like. But you can get them sized down. So, for example, if my health journey ever does occur and I lose weight, I can get this out, sized down to fit my finger. So, perfect size. I'm so excited that I finally have a wedding band. Um, so, yeah, there was that. And we just walked around. We walked to... Where did we look? I mean, we looked in every store, honestly. Well, not every store, but we went into... Gucci, 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 Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. We went to Gucci. We did not go into Louis Vuitton because the line was too long. We went into Prada. We went into Balenciaga. We went into Golden Goose. We went into uh, Dior. Where else did we go? Was that it? I think that was it. <coughs> we weren't over here for a long time. <clears throat> we weren't over there for a long time. But if you're ever in Las Vegas, you should go to the Crystals Mall. Because, I mean, if you like fashion or anything like that, it's pretty impressive. Um, and they also have stuff in there that, like, you don't see in, like, boutique stores in, like, Miami. I mean, they're, like, big stores. Um, so, it's, it was cool to go in there and see all that stuff. And then we came back and um, we got ready and took showers and all that kind of stuff. We were actually like really running on time today, which is like so funny because we've been like this whole trip. We've been like, okay, we've got like two minutes to get into the Uber so we can make it to the show in time. You know, we've been on time to everything, but we've just been kind of like running late the whole time. So anyway, we um, took showers and got ready and stuff like that. Okay, let me just tell you about my husband, first of all. He wore, now I can't fit into this stuff, but this was so sweet. He wore like jeans and like penny loafers tonight, but then he wore the shirt 
and the jacket from the suit that we wore in our wedding. Is that not so sweet and adorable? Not to mention that he scheduled our appointment at Cartier for the same time that we got married. I mean, just like, and thought all this stuff out. The other thing was that I love my husband's hair long and um, like parted on the side and over. So tonight he wore it that way because he knew that I love that. And that's how he had his hair when we got married. So he did all of that. And um, we're going to recreate the picture because we got like, where we got married was like here. It was like, they knocked out like two suites. And then it was like, so we overlooked the fountains of the Bellagio, but I think it was higher up. And then on the corner, we had pictures with like the Paris in the background. So he's been trying to figure out how we can do it so that we like recreate the pictures. Um, we're gonna do that sometime on this trip. A couple of you I think recommended that. So anyway, that was that. We went to go eat dinner tonight at this place. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, like I said to Alex, I said, <laughs> God knows I picked the most expensive place. I had no idea how expensive it was, but it was expensive. Um, but it was fine. I mean, for an anniversary dinner, you know? It, it wasn't super, super expensive, but I mean, it was pricey. And I didn't expect that. I wasn't, like, it was whatever. But anyway, it's this restaurant and it's in the Encore, which is next to the Wynn, and it is called uh, Sinatra. And you go in, and the entire inside looks like um, like a steakhouse that you would see in New York City, like a super dressy steakhouse. And they have this little bar when you walk in that's beautiful. Well, I had requested a table outside on the patio, and um, I, I they were like, just because you request it doesn't mean that you'll get it. Um, here, I'm gonna just show you if I can show it. Hold on a second. Well, first of all, so they have like a little anniversary card for us and stuff. This is what it looks like, if you can see it. But look at that, like, okay, it was all these like Korean boxwoods and stuff. Oh, there's my husband. All these Korean boxwoods out there. They had these like, it looks like it's really bright, but it's not. They had all of these, um, the tables were pink. It just was beautiful. And they had all these like trees lit with like Christ white Christmas tree lights and stuff. And they had all these pictures inside all over the place of Sinatra. Like, I mean, and they played Sinatra music the entire time. Now, apparently our waiter told us, he was fantastic, that um, anything to do with Sinatra, the family has to be involved in it. So the family is involved in this restaurant. They're not like owners or anything, but they're like, they get to make decisions. And so three of Frank Sinatra's favorite meals are on the recipe. So these meatballs um, are part of the appetizers. None of it I could eat, but, and then there was spaghetti and clam sauce. That's like, his was like his favorite meal. And then there was something else. I don't remember what the other thing was. So one of the reasons why I picked this restaurant over like, we were gonna do Top of the World, but I think it's Stratosphere. I was kind of like, it's on the 109th floor. Like, I'm not afraid of heights, but I don't know, 109th floor, that's like really high, right? So we ended up doing this. One of the reasons why, because a lot of the places that people had recommended that I looked were steakhouses. And I just, I'll go to a steakhouse. Like, you know, it's whatever. Like, we go to steakhouses all the time. And, and I enjoy them. And they usually have stop, sides for me and stuff and a salad that I can have. But for our anniversary, I want to be able to have, like, you know, some pics of some things I could have. And they had a lot of vegetarian options here. So I ended up getting this. It was vegetarian. It was carnale. And I don't know what it was called. But anyway, it was delicious. And then, okay. They had a vegan Caesar salad. I could not believe it. They had a regular Caesar salad with anchovies. They had a vegan Caesar salad and it was delicious. And the bread was delicious. And then I had Diet Cokes. And Alex had some drink that I had never heard of before. He had a glass of wine and then a drink that I had never heard of before. Something 75 or something like that. And then um, we both had coffee. And then we had, oh, Alex had to eat. Well, okay, there was kind of like a really special moment that happened. So anyway, Alex had beef wellington with asparagus on the side, and then I also got mashed potatoes because I wasn't sure like that was going to be enough food. I told the guy, I was like, I'm really hungry. He was like, well, this, the portions are small, so you might want to get a side. And the portion, like the pasta was like, it was really small. Um, so we got mashed potatoes and Alex and I split them. We split the asparagus. The asparagus was so good. So I walked into this place, and I like immediately... Like, I immediately started thinking about my Aunt Kathy. 
Like this would have, like my Aunt Kathy loved restaurants. She loved to go out to eat. And she loved to go to other cities like Chicago and places like that and just go to like really like cool restaurants that she had heard a lot about. Like she, like, I think she was, a, she took me to some amazing restaurants. Like we went to Chicago for my mom's 60th birthday and we went to like the Ralph Lauren uh, restaurant and ate lunch one day, which is beautiful if you ever have a chance to go there. And then we went to an Italian restaurant while we were in Chicago for that. I mean, she just always took us to like fantastic restaurants, Capri in Indianapolis and stuff. So I walked in and I was like, we were sitting at the bar and I was, because our table wasn't ready right away. Because we got there early too. And I looked at Alex and I was like, my Aunt Kathy would have loved this place. And he was like, yeah, she absolutely would. And so we were sitting outside and I was just thinking about my Aunt Kathy and I was thinking about my mom and, you know, my dad and my stepmom and my dad, like, I mean, he, when I was a little kid, you know, like, my dad and I would travel together a lot. And it was just like my dad and I, you know, before my stepmom came into the picture when I was like 12. And so he would like, we would go out of town for like business trips and stuff. And like, we would go to really nice restaurants and you know, he would teach me things and tell me what certain kinds of food were and whatever. And I would wear like a little suit coat, you know, and khaki pants and a, and a tie. And, and I was telling Alex, I said, there was none of this tablet BS, like, or running around when I was a kid. Like, you were to sit there and have a conversation with the adults. And that was part of it, you know? And my dad was like, well, I'm sure, or Alex was like, I'm sure if tablets were around. I said, well, the, the thing was also, it was just like just me and my dad a lot, you know? So it was my dad and I having a conversation and he would like be like, you know, this is what this is and this is what this is and whatever. And I just feel so blessed, you know, that like, I don't know. I love to this day going to eat at restaurants. I don't really care what restaurant it is. I don't care if it's, you know, I sometimes like the more down home simple restaurants are really what I love so much. Like just like local restaurants and stuff that we have like in Indianapolis. But this was so special and the music was, it was just like the whole thing was just so pretty. And I, you guys, I lost it at the dinner table. I just started crying. And I was like, you know, it makes me so sad. I said, my aunt would have loved this place, but I think really what it was, was I have this moment, like we talk so much about our relationship and our marriage today, and I have this moment at dinner and I said, you know, I said, I say it a lot. I said, but we really have blessed, blessed, magically amazing lives. Like I say it, but like we really do. Like we get to travel and we have a home and we have two little dogs and we have such amazing friends, you know, and family that loves us and just people that we're surrounded by and have been for a long time. I mean, we just, we have a blessed life, you know? Sure, there's hardships at times. Sure, there's tragedies and stuff happens, but we just, I, I you know, I don't want to take a moment of it for granted. And I'm just, I feel so blessed. And I just miss a lot of the people, you know, like in my life. And I was thinking like, you know, like if just for one day, like I could have like all those people in a room. And that was kind of what our wedding was, you know, it was like all the people that like really meant so much to me and Alex were like in a room for that one day, you know? And I think that's what got me really emotional tonight was like, so many of those people like have moved away and we don't see them anymore or like have passed away. PP is gone, you know, and it just was like, it is such the, the, the yin and the yang and the bitter and the sweet of the world that like for every happy moment, there seems like there's a sad counterpart, you know? It's like, you know, Alex and I were talking about like where we're at today compared to where we were when we first met and stuff like that and the successful relationships that we have in our life and our successful relationship that we had, you know? And it's not perfect, but like we've worked on it so hard, you know, and like, and Alex was like, you know, the things that we have accomplished together that we would never have been able to, like, just stuff that you go through as a couple, you know, whether it's jobs and career successes or me writing a book or Alex graduating from school or the hardships of like getting through PP passing away together, you know, or getting through my aunt and uncle passing away or, you know, Alex's grandpa passing away. It's like, 
there's been so many things that we have leaned on each other for. And like 10 years is no joke. You know, 13 years is like no joke. And I just, I, I love my husband so much and I feel so blessed to have him by my side. And it just, we had such a great talk at dinner tonight and it was just the perfect place. It just was, without even knowing it, it just was the perfect place. <laughs> and, um, So if you ever get a chance and you're in Vegas, go to Sinatra at the Encore. It's beautiful. And, um, yeah. And the waiters were so nice there. There was, like, these two waiters that we were talking to. Well, the guy, our waiter, and then there was another waiter there that had come from another restaurant that just closed down there, like, two weeks ago. And so we were talking to him, and he was super, super friendly. And they had, both of them, like, worked there for, like, in, in the Encore, the win, for, like, ten plus years. I think it's moments like birthdays or sobriety birthdays if you're sober or anniversaries. It's a good time to reflect back on the time period, you know, that it's been. It's like, there were so many moments you know, I talk about us going to marriage counseling and I talk about us almost not making it and, you know, I thought we would file for divorce and whatever. And there were so many issues, you guys. Like, there just, I mean, it, there was so much that was wrong. I mean, there was more wrong by a landslide than was right in our relationship. It wasn't just that we were tolerating each other anymore it wasn't just I mean we were taking each other for granted we were tolerating each other I, we just didn't even really like each other you know honestly there was just so many things to flash forward to us sitting there like at dinner just having this amazing conversation you know to just laughing by the pool laughing our ass off today at the pool you know to laying in bed like teasing each other just telling each other just like the silliest of jokes you know to still being like passionate and romantic with each other like that's saying a lot you know it really really is and I'm not saying that it's going to always be like that. There's going to be moments that, you know, we need, you know, I, like I just said that to him the other day. I said, um, things are going so well that when we get back, I want to find a mar marriage counselor. And he was like, oh, I think that we need to do that, you know, because it's like, don't wait till things are bad. Like we did that before, right? Like we waited until things were bad. Like I want to keep the momentum going, right? Like. I think it's why so many people that like, you know, are professional singers have voice coaches and things like that. So, um, yeah, I, um, just crazy to think where we were, you know? And that was, like, not long after we got married, you guys, in all honesty. Like, we got married, and it was, like, a year or two later that we were, like, things were bad. Um, I think that's the other thing, is that we really took for granted our relationship and what it meant to one another, and we don't do that today, you know? We fight for our relationship today, and, um, and, we, and we have fun, and we enjoy it, too. Like, that's so important, you know? So, anyway, it was the perfect day. Um, so what else? I'm going to read some comments in a section, in a second. Um, well, I'll just read some comments right now. Um, there was one comment that I wanted to read, first of all, and the comment was, um, from Tina and Tina said Peter I don't know if you know but Nick Snyder's mom passed away early this morning and needs support right now please reach out if you can have fun on the, vac the vac vacay and um, I just want to say yes I did know that um, I have been in contact with Dustin and Nick um, really more so with Dustin because I know that Nick is like when my mom passed away I just didn't want people texting me nonstop. so I've been like texting with Dustin quite a bit um, I did, uh, text uh, Nick a few times, so, and he texted me back. I, I cannot even believe how tragically sad this whole situation is, you know, and, um, 
that's not my story to tell. That's next. And Nick posted a video about it on his channel. So please go to the viewer's voice. And I don't know if he has it on that channel or if he has it on um, the dailies, the vlog channel. Let me see really quick and I'll tell you. Um, I think he's posting it on the viewer's voice. Um, okay, you guys, I'm having all kinds of problems with this camera tonight. I don't know what the problem is, but my batteries are only lasting like 25 to 30 minutes, like all of them. I don't know what the problem is and why they're getting zapped so quickly, but like I was looking down and I was like, like going through here trying to figure out what channel it was on and my camera just turned off. So then I went and got another battery because I thought it was the battery and I put it in and like the lighting was really, really dark. So I had to mess with the thing. Anyway, it's been a mess. But anyway, Nick's video is called Goodbye Mom, August 25th, and it's on his, uh, his viewer's voice channel. So please go check that out. Um, please, you know, send Nick Snyder, um... I don't know, some love and support, you know, I, I just, in a, in a situation like that, having been through that, well, first of all, it's like, you're, you're just so like, I can't even believe that I'm living through this right now. Like this is surreal. Um, and I don't know that on top, but just, you know, give us the support. I, I've seen actually that there's been some like really, really cruel statements that have been said. And I really think that that says more about the person that's putting it out there than anything else. But I don't, I, don't, I just don't really understand why in a moment like that, like, I really do not understand the person on the other side. I, I've never understood this. I mean, I've never understood this, you guys, okay? Like, I get, I, I am starting to maybe understand, like, hate watchers a little bit just because it's been explained to me so many times. And I know <clears throat> that there are people that don't like me, and that's totally okay. I get it, right? But, like, I don't understand, like, somebody going through something like that. I don't understand the person on the other side that is literally so cruel and tensioned in their heart that could type out something like, this is karma. Like, I really do not understand something like that. Like, you've gotta be a really cold person in your heart to be able to put something out there like that into the world about anybody, okay? About anybody. Like, really, like, check your motives of who you are as a human being. I am such a believer that if you put that energy out, I mean, you wanna talk about karmic energy, okay? Like, I'm not real big on telling other people about their karma, I'm just not, you know what I mean? Like, have I joked about it before? I'm like, well, maybe that's your karma. You know, sure, right? But like, I'm not real big about telling people about their karmic energy. I try to sell, surround myself with the light of love and positivity in my life, you know? I believe in the, sun, the sunshine of the spirit. I, I believe in that, right? So, I don't know where somebody feels comfortable putting cruelty out there in the world like that. I mean, I have been on the receiving end of it, but like that is almost like overboard. Like, I mean, I've been called some really, really harsh names in my life. I cannot even imagine like on the heels of my mother passing away, me reading a car, like reading a comment that said, this is karma and you deserve this. Or, I hope she's burning in hell. I mean, I can't even imagine that. And you guys, he got some comments like that. And I'm like, this is some of the sickest crap I have ever seen in my entire life, okay? Can you not, for maybe 24 hours, leave your hatred towards somebody at the door? Like, just seriously. And realize, hey, I'm a human being, they're a human being. Like, can we just be nice to one another for just like a day? Like, I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. And that is where people get so carried away with this drama. I mean, like, dude, it's entertainment. Seriously, it's entertainment at the end of the day. Like, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I'm not what's going on with him, but like drama channels, you know? It's like, drama channels are entertainment. These YouTubers, most of the drama that you guys see them doing and whatever that we cover is contrived drama. It's fake drama. They don't care. These people make millions upon millions of dollars. You think they care? Y'all think that me getting in a video where I get maybe 20,000 views on a drama video talking about somebody, you think they care when they like literally are like making millions and millions of dollars and they're getting millions? You guys, they don't care. They really don't. 
I've had some of them say to me in the past, Peter, we literally, I, I didn't even know you made a video. Like, you know, I don't, I just don't keep up with your stuff. You know what I mean? Like, they don't care, you guys. Like, they literally don't, you know? It's the fans and the stands that care. So then to take it to the point where you hate somebody so much that you would then say something like that on the heels of that person's mother passing away, man, that, like, says a lot about the person that's writing that. You know, it really makes me sad. But anyway, um, yeah, send, send, uh, Nick and Dustin, you know, and, and Nick's family, please, some prayers and love and positivity, and, um, I think I had to make a decision a while ago, you know, like, I've talked a lot about it on here, but I think I had to make a decision on what I was going to allow in and what I wasn't going to allow in, you know, and, um, did I want to pay attention to the positivity or did I want to pay attention to the negativity? And not just on YouTube, but in my real life as well, you know? Do I want to pay attention to not living, you know, with rose-colored glasses? Not at all. But how do I respond to the world, you know? How do I... I what did somebody posted this today. It's somebody that I've seen a couple times. I don't know, but it's something like, it, speaking of karma, it's something like how somebody treats you is their karma and how you respond is yours or something like that. And I was like, you know, that's so true. It really, really is, you know? And it's also about attitude and acceptance and things like that, you know? And it's just like, I can only be, I can only be in control of myself. I can only be, you know, I have to look at my life and what I'm doing and putting out there. And I'm not saying that it's, I'm a perfect example of that. By no means, do, you know, please, you know, there's, I make mistakes on the regular. I just try to look at them and say, okay, these are teaching moments or these are learning experiences, you know, or I call my sponsor up and say like, I don't know what to do about this or whatever, you know? And um, so anyway, I do know that I don't want, I'm in a position in my life today where I don't want any ill will with anybody. You know, I don't want any animosity or resentment towards people. And, um, you know, I've done a lot of work in the last couple years of making amends to people. And um, they've made amends to me. And, um, you know, Dustin's a good example of that. And, uh, you know, I think it was about... It was going into 2020, I called my sponsor and I said I need to do some inventory. I said there's a couple people that I owe an amends to and I'm not going into 2020 until I've made these amends and we sat down and did you know did the inventory so I could take a look at what my behaviors were and um reached out to Dustin and asked him if I could make amends to him and he gave me that opportunity and you know it was interesting Dustin took a lot of responsibility for his actions as well and we ended up laughing and having a really nice conversation and no we're not best of friends today by any means but um you know it, it's Life offers us the opportunity to fix the wreckage of our past. And isn't that a wonderful thing, you know? Who wants to live with animosity and hatred and anger in your heart? I don't, I don't, you know? Um, I'm sure there's probably at least one person out there that's just like, you know, like, no, I love to live with anger in my heart. Do you really, like, what's, ask yourself why? What purpose does that serve for you? What's your motive, you know? Why would you rather be angry than have love in your heart. I really don't get it, you know? It's like, at the same time, it's like, why I choose peace and serenity today instead of like toxicity and chaos. And there was a time that I chose toxicity and chaos. I truly, I chose it. I was like, I don't even know that I recognized it. This is where you know, I can understand the person out there that's, like, really critical, that's very negative, that, you know, like, whatever, or dislikes me, you know, like, you know, one of the so many people that, like, has me on notification to dislike my videos right away. That's fine, you know. Um, there was a time that that hurt. There was. 
I've, I've long let that go. I'd rather focus on the positive today. There's so many people out there that like me. There's so many people out there that want to be around me versus when I was growing up, nobody did, right? Why am I going to waste any more time focusing on the negative? I just don't have time for it. I just don't. You know, I really, because I don't know how long I'm going to be here. That's why I say I don't have the time for it. Not just like callously, you know? I don't have the time for it because I don't know how much time I have. So if I don't know how much time I have, why am I going to focus my time on trying to convince people that don't like me anyway to like me? That is wasted effort, you know? That's, it's, it's stupid. Don't do it, you know? It's like I say to the people that don't like me, it's like, if you get off on, like, hate watching me, I get that, okay? Hate watch me all you want. Like, enjoy it, I hope. You know what I mean? Like... I hope you enjoy it enough that it like it gives you enjoyment to watch a vlog of mine for an hour a night because you hate watching me so if that's what makes you happy do it right but if it were me I would rather put my time and my energy into watching somebody that lifts me up or makes me happy but do you like if you want to watch it hey welcome aboard I appreciate you coming over here and you know watching the vlog <laughs> Um, I mean, I can tell you that Peter Mon is definitely of the belief, you know, that, I don't know, I just, I like to watch stuff that makes me happy, but I know that there are people out there that like to watch stuff that they don't like. I get it, you know, I know that. Um, so, it, I just, I guess it's just something on YouTube. I don't get it, personally, for me, I get it that other people do enjoy that, but anyway. Um, so yeah, like I said, please go give them some love, you guys. Okay, let me read, I want to read some of these comments. Because I was reading some of the... I was actually going in to see what uh, musicals you guys were recommending. And then um, I just got, like, so deep. And um, <laughs> Samantha said, I want to meet Leanne, too. Okay, Samantha, I'm so glad that you said that. Because today I was trying to, like, bring up that joke. Which my husband said I, like, kill a joke until it's, like, so dead. Because I'll, like, tell it over and over again. It's like the inside joke when you're in high school, you know? Like, I just keep on saying it over and over and over and over. And finally, my husband last night was like, okay, it's over. Well, for some reason, I could not remember Leanne's name. I thought it was Elaine. And so I said something about Elaine, and he looked at me and goes, that wasn't her name. And I go, what was it? And he goes, I don't remember. <laughs> um, Diana said, love you both. Take care. Be safe. Happy anniversary. Oh, thank you. Carissa said, Dasani water is terrible, Peter. Yuck. LOL. I totally 100% agree. Okay, but my husband bought it for me, so I think that that's nice. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Taylor said, I know so many people say it, but your vlogs really make me feel not as alone. Love you and happy anniversary. Thank you so much, sweetie. Um, Julia said, I just love talks like that with my husband. Happy anniversary, you two. My husband proposed in Vegas in front of the Bellagio. It was our first time in Vegas. So fun. Our friends got... Um, he proposed to his wife in front of the Bellagio the day after we got married because they were here for our wedding. And then we were in their wedding a year later. So congratulations. That's cool. Um, this girl that we met today that worked in Dior, she was like really, really sweet. I don't know a stranger. I have like such horrible social anxiety that like I try to overcome it by talking to strangers, right? So she was talking in there and I was telling her I liked her shoes and stuff. So when we got talking and she's like, oh, what are you guys here for? And we're like, our wedding anniversary. My husband's told everybody. He's like every five seconds, he's like, it's our wedding anniversary, it's our wedding anniversary. So anyway, um, which is so sweet, isn't it? But um, so she was like, oh, I just got, I, she had a beautiful ring on. And I said, your ring is beautiful. And she said, I just got engaged. And I said, oh, you did? And so she was telling us about her wedding and whatever. And then she was telling us about a trip that she wanted and somewhere she suggested for us to go in the Caribbean. And I said to Alex, I said, oh my God, maybe that be a place for my 50th birthday. And so she like showed us all these pictures of it and stuff. She was really, really sweet. Um, so anyway, yeah, that was today. Okay. Chad said, happy anniversary. Love from Tennessee. Thank you for thinking of us when you're on vacation anniversary. Oh, thank you, Chad. Um, Melissa put a red heart, pink heart. Uh, May said, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Um, let's see. So many people were like, happy anniversary. You guys are so sweet. Um, um, 
Andrea said, I know your anniversary is already over and done with, but I hope you had a wonderful day. I'm so excited to see your new rings. I'm so happy for you guys. Oh, thank you so much. Alex looks just exactly the same as mine. I think he might have got... No, I think he got the thicker one. There's like a thicker one, and then this one, and then like a thinner one. The thinner one looked too small for my hand, and since I can't wear the other two rings yet, I wanted something that... But see, you can like... It's not super tight, but it's like tight enough that it fits on my ring, so... Um, Betsy said, can't wait to hear about your trip to Cartier. My husband and I did the same at the Bellagio location on our last trip to Vegas. Also, I tried the caramel apple drink from Star... I love that she spelled caramel. C-A-R-M-E-L. That is totally me all the way. I don't even call it caramel. I mean, in Indiana, we call it caramel. And I went to Carmel High School, so... I love it. Betsy, I love that you do that. I try, uh, also, I tried the caramel apple drink from Starbucks yesterday. It was okay. Just make sure you mix it. Happy anniversary, Peter. Oh, thank you so much, Betsy. Uh, that's so funny because I grew up, my dad's fraternity brother, his daughter's name was, well, he had two daughters, but one of them was Betsy. And um, I don't know why, but like I got on Facebook the other day and I was like looking up her and her sister and her mom and stuff because I hadn't. I mean, my dad always, like, fills me in and tells me what's going on with them. But, like, I hadn't, like, talked to them or seen them in forever. And it was so weird seeing, like, pictures of them now with their kids and stuff like that. Not to mention I didn't realize I was friends with the mom on Facebook. Um, okay. Troy said, hey, Peter, I know this is a long shot, but can we please get a Peterismus video? I really need one right now. Troy, I'm sorry. I didn't bring my books with me, but maybe tomorrow if I have um, some time... We're actually, to, well, we'll see. If I get some time, I will try to do a Peter Rosen's video tomorrow, but no, I, I can't promise. Because we're going to the pool, and then after the pool, we are going to Fremont Street. And I am really excited about it, because I haven't been there since, like, the first time I was in Vegas. I think it was the first time. It was the second time I was in Vegas. I don't know. Alex has never been there. Um, and we are going to eat at this restaurant called Esther's um, with Alex's mom and his cousin so I'm really excited about that okay Troy said happy anniversary to the best couple in the world I wish you guys the best and here's to many more anniversaries thank you Alex for sharing Peter uh, with us you truly are the best hubby in the world love you both hope you guys are having a magically amazing anniversary love you Peter and everyone oh yeah and one more I love you <laughs> okay um Best musicals, this is from Nick. Hello, Dolly in Oklahoma. I love your travel vlogs. Oh, thank you. Ashley said, glad you're having fun, Peter. My partner and I are going to Vegas next month for her birthday. We'd love to hear what you guys recommend. We love the peppermint or the Peppermill restaurant too, and we'll be going for her birthday. Um, I don't know. Like, you know, I have to tell you, like, my favorite, like, we had such a great anniversary today, but like. As far as, like, my favorite things to do, honest to God, just to, like, like, yesterday when we were done, like, I, I like to do it towards the end of the day when it starts getting cooler and the sun goes down, but just putting on, like, comfortable shorts and a t-shirt and comfortable shoes and walking the strip and looking at all the stuff and going in and just looking at whatever you want to look at, like, that for me is, like, so much fun. I mean, we had such a great time yesterday. We were just telling stories on the way down and... You know, it was just so much fun. We had such a great time yesterday, and it was just so casual. It was just so laid back, you know? The shows are great. You know, if you go see a show, go see Absinthe if you're going to be out here. Um, it's in front of Caesars. You can get tickets probably the day of. There's not a bad seat in the house, so it doesn't matter where you sit. Um, RuPaul's Drag Race is really fun, too. I do think the, the tickets are kind of pricey for RuPaul's Drag Race for what it is. Um... It's basically just like a regular drag show. Well, not even. I mean, it's like a produced RuPaul's Drag Race show. But like, if you don't know who they are, like, I don't even know that it would mean anything, you know? To go see a show, um, Alex's cousin Maya keeps on talking about this area, place called Area 15, that's like this art installation warehouse or something like that. Um, and I mean, there's always a buffet in Gamble. <laughs> and that's what I love. So, uh, are the buffets in gambling. Okay. Um... So many people are saying stuff about the girls by the pool. I know. Okay, Shelly said, Shelly Ann said, your influencer story reminded me of the story of Oprah, of the story of Oprah going to st the store to buy an expensive bag 
I'm being told she couldn't be able to afford it. Okay, so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I was talking yesterday about how I was trying to like be friendly to these girls at the pool that were like influencers. And I said, do you want me to take your picture? And they kind of laughed and looked at each other and then the one girl was like, I don't remember how it all went down, but she looked at the other girl and she, then she looked at me and she was like, I mean, we're influencers, you wouldn't know what, we, what you're doing. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, you're probably right. And that's why I said I just <laughs> leaned back, you know? But anyway, the Oprah story is so fantastic. If you've never seen it, I don't know what it's called on YouTube, but it's where she's in Switzerland and she's with Gail and Gail's daughter. And so they go to Louis Vuitton in Switzerland and um, Oprah tells, oh, so Gail's daughter has just graduated from high school and Oprah said she's like the sweetest girl, great grades. I can't remember where she's going, but some incredible school. And so Oprah says to her, like, you can have anything in the store that you want. And so she's like, um, so she's like, you know, you can have any store or whatever. And so she has, there's this one in the window that she wants. And so she's talking to the guy that works there and it's really funny to hear her tell the story, but he's like, oh no, 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 you know, like impossible, you can, the, not that purse, not that purse. And Oprah's like, why? I don't understand why. And it goes on and on and on. And so, um, so finally he called, she's like, is there a manager that I could talk to? You know? And he was like, oh no, we can't bother the manager and whatever. And she's like, oh no, I think I want you to bother the manager. And so finally, like somebody comes out and like takes him to the back room and she's like, that's when the Oprah conversation, like somebody went to him and said, this is Oprah Winfrey. Like she's one of the biggest things in you know, the United States. And so she's like, that's when the Oprah conversation happened, you know, and the audience laughs and whatever. So then, um, he comes back out and he was like, should we have champagne? Like you want to see the purse, which purse? And so they go this whole thing. And, um, Finally, like they get it all settled, and the guy's gonna show her the purse, and he's gonna wrap up the purse, and all this kind of stuff. And she's like, "You're sure that you want that purse?" And Gail's daughter was like, "I know, I don't know if that's the purse, <laughs> but it's so funny when you like hear it. You know, it's like because she wasn't gonna come out and say, well, 'Well, I'm Oprah Winfrey.' I think that is who. I mean, first of all, I'm nobody. Okay, let's just be for real. I'm some dude with a camera. Okay, but like, who does that? Like, who really like is like drops names and does that? I, I, I just can't even imagine, okay? Like, being in a situation, you and it, I, I almost got drama channel -y for a second, but it reminds me of like, I don't know, an influencer that went to DragCon and skipped the line in front of everybody else because thought they were more entitled and deserving of meeting that person than everybody else. It's just like, do you guys remember that happening back in the day? Who, th I mean, who thinks that they're that entitled, you know, seriously? So, anyway. I mean, I'm not going to say that I haven't ever had, like, you know, <laughs> VIP access to something or a friend owns a place and so I get walked in or whatever. Like, that does feel nice. I like it. But I always feel bad. You know, I always, like, when I'm walking out, I always look at everybody like, <laughs> they're friends of ours. I, 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 you know, like, I always feel so bad about it. But anyway, <laughs> silly, isn't it? Oh, my God. I think I've been vlogging for, like, okay, I don't know. But anyway. I don't remember when I started now. Okay, here, let's read one more comment and then I'm gonna get off here. Ow, damn nation, that hurt. Okay. Um, there's so many like musical ones, so I won't read that one. I'm trying to pick a good one. Um, I do love hairspray, Paige said hairspray. Well, here's one, I'll end on this one. This is from Margaret and she said, I just realized we have the same anniversary. Happy anniversary. Well, Margaret, happy anniversary to you too. So anyway, that was a perfect way to end it, wasn't it? It was Margaret's anniversary. I should put in the title, I should call it our anniversary and Margaret's anniversary. <laughs> anyway, we sat down at dinner tonight and I had put like on the reservation that it was our anniversary. And so they gave us a little card and stuff, which was really sweet. And so when we sat down, um, the girl was that sat, sat us down, um, the woman, she was like, 
I hear that it's a special occasion. And we were like, yeah. And she was like, an anniversary? And like Alex real quick said, yeah, our 10 year wedding anniversary. And I was like, damn it, Alex. I wanted to say, I think this would be so funny to like go to like a really nice place, you know, for your anniversary when they go. I heard it's a really special anniversary and say, yes, it's our one week anniversary. <laughs> we made it a week. I think that would be so funny to see how they would act, you know? <laughs> anyway, um, all right. They did give us a free dessert. Well, we ordered tiramisu and then the guy looked at it and he goes, it doesn't say happy anniversary on it. And I'm like, hey, listen, it's totally fine. He goes, no, 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 I'm going to do it. And I said, okay. And then <laughs> like 15 minutes later, the other dessert came out. We had already finished the tiramisu and I'm like looking at Alex, I'm like, I don't know that I can eat anymore, but it was really good. It was like flan. And um, so we basically had two desserts and like six cups of coffee, which is why it is after two o'clock and I'm like wired for sound. So anyway, or almost two o'clock or whatever. I can't see the clock now over there. But anyway, it like dimmed or something. So, ow, what is that? Or something. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get off here now. I hope that you guys are having a, or something, or something, or something, or something, or something. Okay, I hope that you guys are having a magically, or something, or something, or something, or something, or something. Magically amazing, um, what is tomorrow? Thursday. And, oh, I forgot to say, if nobody else has told you this today, One more, I love you. <laughs> Asper, this is Asper. If nobody else has told you this today, I love you. Anyway, um, I love you guys so much, and thank you um, for watching. <laughs> I never say that. Anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow, of course. Bye. Love ya. Love you. And I have to do an anniversary one more I love you. <laughs> that was off, way off tune. One more, like I'm a professional singer or something. One more I love you. <laughs> I have to look in the distance when I do it. One more I love you. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya. <laughs>